Hey, this is Smart Madua Jaja. I wish to use this medium and singular opportunity to congratulate Joe Biden, the president-elect of the United States of America. Mr. Joe Biden, you are such a great fighter. I'm not surprised about this deserving victory that you just earned. Thank you for being a Daniel come to judgment for the United States and by extension the global community sanity we eventually come back once again to the world well the work ahead I must say is enormously Herculean and I know that as a strong statesman with a global network that you get the job done both domestically and internationally and I'm happy that finally a mellow consummate purpose driven visionary an able president of the United States we take the saddle effectively on January 20 2021 what a great day it will be the work on the reversal of the damage done by a tyrant who held the United States in an obnoxious captivity is no doubt going to be a difficult one but once again I believe that Joe can do it Joe let me quickly remind you about the immigration ban on Nigeria and some other countries some other countries on Donald Trump's hate list. I have no doubt that within your first few days in office that you reverse those crazy bans and change that policy, especially as it affects Nigeria, to ban without exception the country's ruling class at the moment from entering the United States because of the enormous damage that they have done to Nigeria since the past 21 years. Nigeria has become a pariah with hard drivers being so impugned that they do whatever they like with nobody being able to call them to account. I remind you about what took place in Nigeria two weeks ago where some peaceful demonstrators holding Nigerian flags in their hands were fatally shot by the army, by the Nigerian army. And as we speak, no one has taken responsibility for the dastardly shooting. I believe that should not happen in a democracy. Nigeria shares a lot in similarities with you, with the United States. In terms of its cultural diversity and its vast human and natural resources, that are unfortunately in the hands of less than its 1% who have, run, who have run amok with them, wantonly looting and siphoning the country's resources outside the shores of Nigeria, including the United States. And that's an area I will be willing, and many other Nigerians will be willing to work with your administration 
to put an end to. We look forward to a serious working relationship with you. Families have been torn apart. Nigerian families have been torn apart by Donald Trump's hateful immigration policy that targeted Nigerians for no just cause. For a man who called Africa, the entire African continent, a shithole continent, and Nigeria a shithole country. Because of his hate for people of color that he did not hide. He was so caustic. I know that you have the magic wand to reverse all the damage he did within the shortest time possible. I want to remind you too about the U.S. foreign policy, especially to Africa and in particular Nigeria. It has been a policy that was driven by pure ignorance by leaders who have been unwilling to learn what it takes to be an African and what the African continent is about. And I'm happy that you will have an array of people with good knowledge of Africa and in particular Nigeria to work with. So your policy direction will be properly appropriated we can't look forward enough to see you be one of the best presidents of the united states in history god bless you and god bless the united states of america